The president has endorsed her, the governor appointed her, and the state Republican Party is 100% behind her. And it doesn't matter to Glendale businessman Daniel McCarthy. Today, McCarthy announcing he will run against Martha McSally in next year's Republican primary. As storm clouds rose over Arizona Wednesday, a potential political storm is developing within the state's Republican Party. Daniel McCarthy, a political novice with a lot of money, announcing he is running against Senator Martha McSally in Arizona's Republican primary. When the logic comes to me from anyone that states a primary is going to weaken an opponent, that just tells me how weak that candidate is. McCarthy is the co-founder of the original makeup eraser company. Its annual sales estimated to be $50 million a year. McCarthy will receive no help from either the state or national Republican campaign organizations. And none of that matters to McCarthy. Arizona uh, citizens are very concerned, and rightfully so. We have a federal government that's out of control in their spending, in their decision making. And uh, frankly, I just can't stomach it anymore. The response to McCarthy's announcement in Republican circles, it's been universally panned. McSally and the state Republican chair, Kelly Ward, appeared together at a business roundtable in Scottsdale. I can tell you that we are very, very proud of Senator McSally. She's been in Washington for not quite even eight months yet. And she has already become a leading voice for us as Republicans on the national stage and in that United States Senate. McSally says she will just do her job. And the campaign will take care of itself. I'm endorsed by President Trump. We are unified as a Republican Party. The first order of business for Daniel McCarthy will be to get on the ballot. He will need at least 6,200 signatures from registered Republican voters. To do that, McCarthy has until April 2020 to reach the goal.